Today we are going to cover the continents and oceans of the world. There are seven continents and there are five oceans. So what are the continents and what are the oceans to start out today's lesson with? The continents are North and South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. We're going to cover each of the continents in detail as we go through this lesson. Now there are five oceans. The Arctic, the Indian, the Atlantic, the Pacific, and the Southern Oceans. We're going to go over each of the seven continents and each of the five oceans as we move through this lesson today. So, to start off with today, we are going to do the continents. Let's start with North America. North America is the third largest continent. Its countries include the United States, Canada, Mexico, and Greenland. Now, Greenland is, although it is physically in North America, most of its political and economic relationships depend on Europe. So, although it's physically in North America, its political and economic relationship depends on the European continent. Three oceans touch North America. You have the Pacific, you have the Arctic, and you have the Atlantic. The Pacific touches on the west coast of North America, the Atlantic touches on the east coast of North America, and the Arctic touches on the north coast, uh, on the northern end of Alaska, on the northern end of Canada, and on the western end of Greenland. So the three oceans touch it. North America is what is circled right here. South America is the second continent. It is the fourth largest continent. Brazil is the largest country. There are 12 countries total that make up the mainland of South America. It borders North America. So this is South America right here. You have the Atlantic, you have the Pacific Ocean, excuse me, to its west. You have part of the Atlantic and part of the Pacific right here. And those two oceans make up the borders of South America. Europe. Europe is across the pond. Across the Atlantic Ocean, it has 48 countries, such countries as Germany, Finland, Denmark, England, Austria, Switzerland, um, all those countries make up Europe. It borders the Atlantic Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean is to the west of Europe, and to the Arctic Ocean to the north of Europe. Europe has a peninsula called Denmark, which we'll spend time on that peninsula when we get to the Middle Age the Renaissance and the Exploration Units. Those are the first three continents. We have four more to go. We have the four A's left. You got Asia. Asia covers more land area than North America, Europe, and Australia combined. So if you take all three of those land areas, North America, Europe, and Australia, you put them together, Asia still is bigger than those three areas combined. It has the most people in Asia compared to any other continent. It is also Earth's largest mountain and lowest lands are in Asia. This is Asia right here. It goes almost borders uh, Australia, also borders Africa and uh, Europe as well. Australia is the next continent. It is the smallest and the flattest continent. It has an island called Tasmania off its mainland. Now you can barely see it but this is Tasmania right here, and Australia is circled. Um, it is the second southernmost continent of the seven continents. Let's move northwest to Africa. Africa is right here. It's the second largest in size and population. It is mostly desert. It has 53 countries. Countries include Kenya, Ghana, South Africa, Egypt, all those, con uh, all those countries make up Africa. Um, the final continent that we're going to talk about today is Antarctica. Antarctica is the, the southernmost continent of all the continents. It's lots of ice and not many people. The only reason that people would go to Antarctica is for mission basically to study the land and the animals and to, to prove if anybody can ever live there. The northern coast of Antarctica is also a peninsula. Remember what a peninsula is. A peninsula is covered by three sides of water. Uh, an island is all sides of water. That wraps up the seven continents. Let's end today's lesson with the five oceans. Alright. The 
five oceans. Let's straighten out the board. There we go. You got the Atlantic. The Atlantic is 33 plus million square miles. It touches North America, Europe, and Africa. This is the Atlantic Ocean right here. You know, if you go to the coast of North Carolina for a beach trip, you are touching the Atlantic Ocean. You also have the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is right here. It touches Europe right here. It touches Africa right here. And it touches Asia as well. It is 28 plus million square miles. Um, it is the second, excuse me, the third smallest of the five oceans. You have the Pacific. We go from the third smallest or the third largest to the largest. 64 plus million square miles make up the Pacific Ocean. It touches both Americas on the west coast of the United States, west coast of South America as well. It goes around and it touches Australia and it touches Asia as well. So it touches four continents. The next one is the Arctic. The Arctic is the northernmost ocean. It is five plus million square miles. It touches Europe to the north, Asia to the north, and North America to the north. Now the final ocean is an ocean that is brand new. Uh, within the last two decades, it's been officially named the Southern Ocean. But, there's people still out there, there's researchers that say the Southern Ocean is not considered a real ocean. Why? Because it only borders one area and it is a tiny, small area. They consider it more of a sea than an ocean because the ocean is large, a sea is smaller. Uh, the Southern Ocean only borders Antarctica. Um, it also touches the Pacific, the Indian, and part of the Atlantic. Um, but the Southern is considered an ocean right now, but there's still a little hesitance on whether people consider it an actual ocean. So, let's review. There are seven continents, Africa, Asia, Antarctica, Australia, Europe, North America, South America, and you have five oceans. Atlantic, Indian, Southern, Arctic, Pacific. This ends the continents and oceans of the world's surface.